Hi and welcome back to my channel Discover PhD Research Gradually and I am Bhumika Batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field. In the previous video, I have discussed about how to identify the variables, which variables are covered under dependent and independent from your framed objectives. So hope that information helps a lot of peeps out there struggling with what variables they need to take in the research design at an initial level, what variables they put in the research design and etc. things. Research is an organized, systematic and ask answering to the questions. Similarly, research design is the blueprint. It is the pre-planned procedure and not spontaneous. It is a plan, structure and strategy of research. It is the blueprint that will guide the researcher how the process will take place in the following years. Research design includes the purpose of the study, be it an exploratory study or a descriptive. What is the purpose? Where and how the study will going to take place? What will be the time horizon? What will be the unit of analysis? I have explained each of the points in this video demonstrating as an example like a sample of the research design. What all the questions a research design shall include, I have explained what the things needs to become under the report or the blueprint. Research design. Before moving ahead, I will be explaining you in a very simple way with certain questions I have framed, which are what was studied, what for, what did, how was, what was found, so what, what now. So these questions have their own importance in their own way. Let's start with the first. What was studied? In this, you have to mention the research questions, the problems, the objective of your study. Then the second question, what for? Means why, do, why you have taken those objectives, why you are doing this research. So you have to clearly explain the justification of your study under what for what did what all the researchers have taken place by the prior literatures so what did includes the literature review how was the study conducted the methodology used what was the sample size how the data is collected what the test will be used how what is the source of information then what was found all the results and discussions based on the methodology or the data collection or the test you have applied. So what? So what says the implications of your study? What now? It says the conclusion and recommendation of future research. Features of research design. We will be discussing what are the characteristics, what it, what the research design should include, so it turns to be a good. It should be realistic. It should not be vague. It should be applicable in the real life. Flexible and efficient. It should not be rigid. It should be flexible as per the situations. If for example, you would like to change, do certain change in your sample size or certain change in the hypothesis or in any of the part of your uh, research. So it could be changed easily. It should not be rigid. It's solely based on research problem. Like what are the objectives of your study? Obviously, based on those objectives only, one will prepare the research design. According to those objectives, the researcher should get to know what type of research design he should or she should apply, what kind of methods, what kind of statistical test will be there. So only based on the research objectives, the research design will be framed. There are certain guidelines which should be mentioned there that according to those guidelines, you should be taking care of your research in the following years. It also includes the data collection and analysis techniques properly. 
this means that you should mention there what will be the source of information like your data is based on primary or secondary how are you going to collect those data if primary obviously you will be you will be preparing the questionnaire and if secondary you will be doing by the going going with the books or the proverbs or the websites and etc so you have to clearly mention what all the techniques you are going to apply based on those a uh, source of information or the data collection then appropriate hypothesis formulation as i have already explained what is hypothesis why we do why we include this hypothesis so in the research design also you have to frame your certain hypothesis you have to develop those hypothesis and which will be the assumed things so you have to put certain assumptions there which are under the hypothesis formulation now i will be discussing about sample of research design i will be telling certain points how you have to make your research design what are the points you have to cover in that design which constitute a blueprint of your research first introduction the brief introduction of your topic the research problem the topic you chose that is for example you are doing research on corporate governance financial literacy telecommunication and xyz so the brief introduction of the particular topic then comes the literature review there you have to write i have explained how to write the literature review in my second or third video you can refer that in this section you have to put the objective the methodology the techniques used and the results in one one line so you have to frame that per one article into four lines after putting into a theoretical then it will be preferable that you put into the table form then from the table you can also make out the charts the graph this will give you uh more this will be more presentable then it comes the research gap then research questions the objectives then justification later hypothesis then variables of the study now variables in the initial stage you will get confused what variables i have on what i have to study so do not worry check my uh, latest video before this video based on identification of variables in that video i have explained you how to find the kind of variable which is dependent which is independent from your framed objectives now in the fourth section when you have already put it down the research questions or the objectives of your study so from that you can easily make out the variables which is dependent which fall under independent so you have to mention the variables of the study there then in the next section the research methodology now this includes what kind of research design you have it is analytical it is descriptive experimental causal there are certain 7 to 8 kind of research design that you have to mention what is your design then population for example you are taking 100 uh, 100 uh, companies so from where you have chose those 100 so out of 500 out of 1000 that is the population 1000 1500 will be the population from where you took those sample then sampling technique which technique you applied to choose the sample there are certain techniques which you can study in the rm subject uh, those are stratified quota uh, simple random probability there are certain kind of techniques then comes to the sample size now out of that population using the sampling technique what sample size you chose then source of data collection based on your objectives the source of data collection will be considered based on your objective if your objective is solely uh, qualitative then it it will be primary if it is quantitative then it will be secondary 
so accordingly you have to write the source of data collection then statistical techniques applied now you have to identify out of the variables that you have this univariate bivariate or multivariate study so based on those three univariate bivariate or multivariate you have to decide based on those techniques which statistical test will be applied then in the next section you have to mention the duration of the study what time period you will be taking for example if you are 2009 2018 registered now in 2019 you are giving your proposal the research design so you have to for example you have to give the year you will be studying 1920 or if it is longitudinal or time series then the any 5 year or 10 year data you can uh, take so that will uh, come under the duration of the study after duration of the study section you have uh, you can also put certain specific research methodology based on your objective you can put it in a brief form just a gist like see uh, serial 1 objective 1 for example to examine this 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 how you will take care of that objective how you will collect the data what the methodology you will use you can put it down in certain um, rows and those research methodologies could be flexible like i have already told you the good research design should be flexible so you can put it down in a hypothetical way like in a assumed way you will do this methodology you will apply this methodology and in the later stage when you will uh, have when you will get a chance to enhance your work you can of course change it so make it flexible and you can put in the later section the specific research methodology based on your work and in the last page of your research design you have to write the proposed plan of your study you have to make sure you will never forget to put the chapterization of your research like chapter 1 will include introduction review profile of selected banks or the companies or what is your sample size based on that chapter 1 then chapter 2 3 4 5 6 this is how you have to make the chapterization and let the examiner know this is how you going to make your thesis this will be the final blueprint of your study this is the way you can put your literature review in the form of table this is just an example you can use your brain to make it more descriptive more decorative this is how i did so just an example this is the best way to put the literature review in the table form and out of the table you can put it in a chart or a graph also to make it more presentable if this information is helpful to you please like to my video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and share this knowledge as much as you can i will be seeing in my next video very soon bye